<laughs> Excuse my little head wrap. But I got to lay these edges before I put this wig on, okay? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so upset. Okay, I'm just going to be talking and doing my makeup today. I don't know what I'm doing, so we're going to be going together. So... I'm so upset because I recorded three videos for y'all last week. Three! And on every single video, one of the clips are messed up. So, I can't upload them for you. So, anyways, I'm going to keep it moving. I am going to start off with my scan today. My eyes, I'm not sure if I have allergies or what, but my eyes have been going crazy. So my eyeshadow looks be looking good. And then they don't look good because my eyes be watering so bad. But let's get into these brows though. Wow. I feel like I need to moisturize my skin because it's kind of kind of dry. I'm going to use the peach strobe cream all over my face. And I love this stuff because it really does give you a glow. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm glowing. Okay? <laughs> glowing. So, I'm going to put some time check. I'm just going to be, I've never used this. I don't think I'm gonna see how good it works like as far as controlling oils yes okay I don't I really I'm really glowing like so I guess I'll talk about my skin because some of y'all wanted to know about my skin um i have been using like dermalogica um shea moisture african black soap um i was using sulfur soap which is like a little bar of soap you can get it from like one of those hispanic um stores and the, the original one that I had, which is just like a regular sulfur soap, it was actually taking away my acne. Um, and then I guess it just stopped working. Um, or either I ran out, so I had to use something else. So then I bought Dermalogica. I bought the little kit, like the little starter kit. I'm about to go in with this NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And the color I'm using is Cadiz Medium Dark 3. So, um, yeah, I bought the Dermalogica and it was working, I thought. Um, and then for some reason, I feel like that stopped working. So, what else did I do? I bought some African black soap from um, Shea Moisture. I was using that. Um, it was okay. And then, like, I was just mixing up a whole bunch of stuff to, like, see what was going to work. I guess I wasn't really giving it time. And then... When I really noticed that all of that stuff was too harsh for my skin was when I went on my cruise and I actually forgot all of my skincare. So I had just bought some tea tree oil and I was like, oh gosh, like I'm wearing makeup, like my skin is going to break out. But I didn't get any breakouts and my skin actually started clearing up in that week. So I was like, oh, okay. And then my cousin made me some cleanser and a night oil. And 
I don't know what's in it. All I know, only thing that I know that's actually in it is um coconut oil and tea tree oil. But she put a whole bunch of like oil together and um I have been using that and my skin has been clearing up. But I think certain foundations um have been breaking me out and then when Flo comes to town, she likes to act up. So that I think this is a mixture of the foundation and then Flo. I think I have learned that less is more with my skin. I think she's been trying to tell me that the whole time, but I was not listening. Now I get it. So that's the deal with my skin. Um, my dark spots are actually clearing up too with the, I think the tea tree oil helps with that. I'm not sure, but something's working. So I'm using, um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, <laughs> duh. The color, I'm, the color I have is medium and huh. This stuff is crack, but I absolutely, I should do a favorites video. This would be in there every single month. Like I've been using this for months and I absolutely love it. And honestly, I can't find another foundation that I love. Actually, I've been loving this, this again but i can't find another foundation that i love more than the urban decay all-nighter like if y'all have any dupes or anything better please let me know so that's why and then another reason why i i want to find a dupe is because urban decay's colors are so off what the h see and this concealer just blends out really well uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go in with this translucent. This stuff lasts me a long time. I've been had this for at least two years, and I still got plenty of powder in here. Go, Laura. So I'm just gonna press it in. And if you haven't tried this Laura Mercier, um, <laughs> where have you been? This stuff really keeps your, well, okay. This is really going to stay in place all day. But the Laura, like, really locks in the product. Like, I might get the darker one just to set my entire face, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too dark. It looks kind of, it looks pretty dark. But I might get that one just to set my whole face just so my foundation can stay in place all day because, wow. This stuff is lit. I am hungry. Which is weird. This is another conversation. First, I'm going to go in with this Primer Potion by Urban Decay on my eyelids. Um, but I have started intermittent, intermittent intermittent <laughs> intermittent fasting and it like this is my first week trying it so it's um so far I've noticed I mean I've lost weight already but I've noticed that it actually um helps my appetite I've actually lost weight but what I have noticed too is I don't get hungry like I would normally would. So intermittent fasting is basically when you only eat how many ever calories you are gonna do in a certain amount of time. So I'm doing six hours right now. So I go 18 hours without eating. So I eat everything that I need to eat in six hours. And I actually wanna get up to four hours and then go 20 hours without eating, but I'm going to see. So far I've noticed that I actually really don't get hungry um, 
after I've eaten in those hours, which is good because it helps me out a lot. I eat from like 12 to 6. But last night after I worked out, I went and ate. So I effed it up, but and I don't want to see in my comments how unhealthy this is because if you think it's so unhealthy, then just don't do it. Don't tell me about my life. Thanks. I wanted to try it just to see um, if it would actually work. And it honestly already has been working. And I have been working out every single day um, since I started it. I'm going in with Paintly by MAC. It's a paint pot because I want my colors to be metro booming because my eyelids are pretty dark but anyways so yeah i um wanted to try it to see if it's working it's actually working and it's actually helping me because i eat too much like i i will eat for no reason so this is actually helping me with my discipline like to stop eating at a certain time because I've tried like eating 17 times a day, eating all these snacks. Like it's just hard. It's easier for me to actually have a time frame, you know? It's easier for me to have that time frame like, okay, don't eat anymore. Instead of, oh, you have to eat at this time, this time, this time. Like I have too much going on in my day to stop and try to find a snack you know i mean do what works for you and this is this seems to be working for me we'll see i am about to go in i don't know what i'm gonna do i guess i'll do i'm gonna start off with roll by mac i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put that in my crease And I've been trying to do such dramatic looks and my eyes get too watering, honey. Why? I hate it so much. So sorry if this video is gonna be long, but I wanna talk to y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go in with red brick, which is the darker orange. And I'm just gonna kind of Maybe I'll make it springy. It's gonna be a pretty day today um, in North Carolina. Finally, comment where y'all are from. I would love to come visit. But I wanna do kind of like a springing look today. So we'll see. I'm so sad about that footage. Like I did um i'm gonna show you the palettes i used three of the eyes on mac palettes i did a look with all three palettes and ha, i'm gonna have to redo them so this is what they look like this is the tropic cool this is the semi sweet and then this is the red hot they're all so freaking pretty. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm going, actually, I'm gonna go on with this coral color here and I'm gonna put that I'm using a 224 by Mac. I've been using this the whole time. Ooh, it's looking tropical. My camera looks extra smooth today. 
my skin actually looks pretty smooth i mean i have these three bumps right here my skin actually looks pretty smooth other than that hey i'm going back in with roll and just kind of bringing it back to life and i'm gonna kind of wrap it around And I'm just redefining all of the colors because I'd be getting lost in the sauce. Mm. Come on, little coral. With this yellow in this palette, this is the Tropic Cool. And I'm gonna go with this yellow here and put it on my lid. Freaking watering. I hope this is pretty. It's pretty. I can dig it. I never done a look like this before. So I'm just going back in with that tropic. I mean, <laughs> that coral color and just blending out this yellow. do not have I can't find any of my eyeliners oh I have lined my waterline with wave line which is a gel liner by Mac while I'm waiting for my lashes to get tacky i'm gonna warm my skin up with this mineralized skin finish dark tan with a morphe y4 looks like this and then i contour with Studio Fix Powder NW55 because I like that strong, that strong. Um, okay, it's taking me way too long. I'm gonna put the, that same color in my inner corner. going to hmm, I'm gonna use this color here to smoke out the lower lash line and I am gonna bring that orange like all the way around okay y'all I'm done with these eyes huh not yet I'm gonna put this pink mascara on my lower lash line and it's called abs of steel it's one of the New ones from the Work It Out collection. Some Fix Plus. Ooh, what happened? Oh my God. Look at my face. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm pissed. What the hell? 
Uh, so don't use Fix Plus when it's low. What? It's called Sun Glow. It looks like this. I'm going to use this little baby Morphe fan brush. This is called the Y13. To use beaming blush by MAC and it's just a gold too it looks kind of it looks pink in the thing but it's pretty gold um and I'm use this Y14 by Morphe what kind of lip I'm just gonna do you know like a little nude or whatever toast and butter Oh my god. Obviously bare. And this is kind of like a gray gloss from MAC. y'all this is the finished look oh my god it's so cute it's so springy i just love this low lash line like mm. oh comment what other spring looks you guys want to see um and i'll try to get them out for you i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next video excuse my nails y'all i have to get them done this is unacceptable this is unacceptable